Alright. Let's watch some more supports. A knots. Sure. What are you doing? Hey, Ignatz. What you reading? Oh. Yeah, he definitely didn't hear me. Hey, Ignatz! Hit him on the head! Uh, what? Oh, it's you. Can you please try to not sneak up on me like that? Sorry about that. I was trying to talk to you, but it didn't seem like anything was getting through. Wonder who's the reader. Looks like you're really into that book, whatever it is. What's it about? Doesn't look like battle tactics at the very least. You're right. This is the Traveler's Journal. It chronicles places that lie beyond Fogland's borders. You've seriously been lugging books around with you? Though I admit, that does sound like a good one. Yes, it's fascinating. The author's unknown, but whoever it was really traveled to all these places and documented everything. It's amazing how vastly things can differ depending on where you are. Like the plants or the animals or even the ore in the ground. And of course, the way people live in those areas is so diverse too. Like their food and their clothes. But what's most interesting to me is the architecture. Ruins in Fogland contain ancient architectural styles that are, for some reason, also found on faraway islands. Alright, alright, I get the picture. You talk like you've seen it all firsthand. <laughs> well, I really try to place myself in the author's shoes when I read. So I guess in a way, I have. I'd love to visit all those places myself, but that's easier said than done. Especially since I became a knight. Ah, uh, seems to have oh, happy being a knight. Uh, sure. Why do you say that? Makes me think you never wanted to be a knight in the first place. Oh, no! No, no, uh, of course I did. At any rate, both my father and my brother are pleased that it's official. Sounds to me like you became a knight for them. That's not it at all. I'm very happy with my decision, honest. Even though you can't go off traveling? Yeah, getting sent out to different locations for battle is kind of the same thing. Not really. Oh, but of course the mission always comes first. It's not like I go off wandering whenever I feel the urge. Uh-huh. But you would if you could, right? Why do you keep asking me about this? All these leading questions, they're... they're uncalled for. I might not be able to travel of my own volition, but I can read books and go wherever I want in my imagination. And that's good enough for me. Yeah, but that's not the same, is it? Oh, uh, we got Yuri and Flan and Catherine. Sure. I just don't want to miss out on any supports. It's been five days. And what's this? A letter. I'm not liking to leave his stuff lying around. I wonder if it says anything about where he went. Oh, it's just sitting there. Can't hurt to take a peek, right? Are you well? Eating enough? I worry about you all the time. Thank you for sending money always. I want to see you soon. Huh. Is this letter for Yuri? It's got a different name on it. Having fun? Yuri! Wow, you really snuck up on me. When did you get back? Just now. More importantly, why are you snooping through things that don't belong to you? Choose your next word carefully if you don't want them to be your last. Pray, dude. Hey, you didn't read the letter. That's not what it looks like. I didn't read it. What are you going to do about miles, it? I just wanted to see if you were back yet. What are you going to do about it? Line doesn't really work when you've been caught red handed. 
we gonna do about it? <sighs> Never mind. I can't imagine you'd have a reason to pry into my affairs. I suppose this is what I get for taking off without telling anyone, and for being so careless. Yeah, I thought you'd be the last person to leave something like this behind. You must have left in a hurry. You could say that. Yeah, ask about the letter. Because of the letter? I assume it's from someone in your family. Maybe a little brother or sister? <laughs> My mother, actually. She doesn't really have a way with words, I know. She's always been prone to illness, but lately her condition has grown worse. I try to visit whenever she asks to see me. Obviously there are times when I can't go, but... I have to take all the time I can get, but I never know which visit will be my final chance to see her. I understand. Something's gone, you're gone. But wait, the name on that letter, is that your real name? So Yuri's an alias and you're really red? No need to say it. And yes, what parent would call their kid by an alias anyway? Fair point. It's a nice name though. Why hide it? In my line of work, it pays to have more than a few names. And don't go telling anyone about this. He won't like to find out what happens if you do. I'll do what I want. Chuck her out. Okay, take it down a notch. Besides, a threat like that's kind of tempting. Makes me want to slip up just to see what happens. I'll do what I want. You don't think I'm serious. Alright. Just don't say I'm gonna warn you. In any case, I am sorry for crying. For what it's worth, I hope your mom gets better soon. If it were easy to cure, then we wouldn't even be talking about it. But I appreciate the sentiment nonetheless. Alright. Let's do another fight. Uh, who do we take here? Who's the moderator? Ingrid. I'm ready. Okay. Ingrid and Bernadetta. I know Ingrid needs someone, needs a lot of uh, support from the Blue Lions. Who should I? The Doom, Dimitri, and Ash. Or I can do the Doom, Dimitri, uh. The Doom, Felix, and Sylvain, or the Doom, Felix, and Ash? Sure. Alright, how does the Doom do Felix? Yeah, you're fine. Take Felix. The Doom's okay here, too. Do I take Ash or Sylvain? I take. Uh. Take Sylvain? Sylvain is lower leveled. Yeah, they're all level 36. I think level 35 is my lowest level. Alright. Stay alert, everyone. Well then. Yeah, we're not gonna do an Agiton, let's just finish these guys fast. It's time to move. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. Who do you have a vantage witch? Yeah, sure, why not? We? we will win, I'm sure. Not a move I wanted to use. War Strike is the move I wanted. Trying to do so the Doom's ability, but it's um I can't get the timing right. Let's begin. 
Alright, die. Nice, nice dodge. Try to block him off. Yeah, try to block him off. Ow. You're still alive, huh? Alright, deal with this last one. Do an auto offensive here. All right. Just die. Yeah, I wanted to save after this. Alright, well. right, we got four more in this area, in this uh, map. Alright. Watch Flay and Catherine, then we can move on to the next chapter. Entirely. That 
doesn't sound unusual for him. But as long as he doesn't know, what's the harm, right? A fair point, but my brother truly is concerned for my safety. Perhaps... It does seem like the church has enemies all over the place these days. So I don't know. I think I get where he's coming from. As you know, my brother and I have lived in remote and secluded places for a very long time. All we had was each other. Then we went to Garrick Mock and suddenly we were surrounded by all these people. I had hoped to make many friends and listen to their countless tales of all the places I hadn't been. But before I got to really know the people at the Officers Academy... Everything went all topsy-turvy and the Academy had to shut down. Do you remember when we went into town together to look at the latest fashions? fun. I was looking forward to going shopping together again, but perhaps I should just let the whole thing go. Oh, flame. Don't get up. Don't up so easily. We're just talking about a little outing here. Even that would prove tremendously difficult for me. With the church thrown into such chaos, my brother is in a near constant state of agitation. I must not trouble him further by making him worry about me as well. You're very kind to your brother, Flame. Just remember, it won't always be like this. You think so? Absolutely. Wars can't last forever, right? When this war ends and peace returns to Fodlin, taking a shopping trip will be no big deal. If that is so, then would you be willing to go into town with me again when that day comes? Of course. I'd be happy to keep you company. Or were you keeping me company? I forgot. <laughs> with that to look forward to, it should be no trouble to summon a little patience. It is times like this I am grateful you're not a man. What? Oh, you mean because of Seth? sure my brother will permit me to go anywhere with a man, even when the war is over. He'll never get to know any men if he doesn't. Are you okay with that? No, but if I do it anyway and he finds out, I'm sure it would be, as I've said, utterly disastrous. Um, I'll your help. I'll just have to help you sneak out, won't I? Did you really do that? I should have known you would be so bold. All right, Catherine next. <sighs> what a pain. Everything all right, Catherine? Thought I saw Count Karen a second ago. Yes, I just had to talk to my father about something. We wanted to request some of the church's soldiers as reinforcements, but I don't have the authority to make that decision. For the life of me, I can't understand why he'd come to me for something that only Lady Rayo or Dimitri could help him with. Whoa, wait, wait. Count Karen is... is your dad? Yes. Huh. I could have sworn you knew. Well, I guess you do now. I am, in fact, the daughter of Count Karen of Fargus. I had no idea. Though, now that you mention it, you do bear their crest. Things are... complicated with my family, to say the least. But basically, I'm keeping my distance from House Karen for the time being. Right now, I am Catherine, Knight of Saros. No connection to any house or the kingdom. I see. So you intend to keep serving the church going forward? But what do you think you would do if the church and kingdom broke their alliance? <laughs> A foolish question. Obviously, I would side with Lady Rhea. It's not a matter of kingdom or church. My allegiance and my sword lies with Lady Rhea and her alone. Though, of 
course, I would prefer not to fight my friends and family from back home. So it would be ideal for me if the Kingdom and Church could play nice forever. The Archbishop's personal sword, huh? You've got one heavy blade. What about you? What are you fighting for here? Or is it one of those, I just tripped and fell into it kind of stories? I need the money, I fight for my friends. I'm doing this for my friends and comrades. I want to make things better for everyone in the kingdom. Huh, that wasn't what I was expecting. You're pretty loyal for someone who came up as a mercenary. Aside from that, you might be right. Maybe my coming to Fargus was pure chance. A civil war broke out in the capital right after I joined the Officers Academy. By the time things died down, decided to close the school. That's when Dimitri put me in my current role. Sounds like you've had a rough go of things too. But you're commanding Kingdom troops now, right? That's a pretty good step up. I say that as long as you're living life in a way that would make your past self proud, that's enough. Make my past self proud, Helen. Easier said than done, I know. But it can't hurt to try, right? Just keep challenging yourself. You'll get there eventually. 